We are a curious species, always looking up at the night sky and wondering, what is out there? Are we alone? For centuries these questions were dreams and poetry, until we built machines to seek answers. In 1977, we launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, robotic emissaries to the unknown. Their mission, explore Jupiter and Saturn, worlds we'd only glimpse through telescopes. Voyager 1 became our eyes and ears, sending back data that transformed our understanding of the outer planets and their moons. But its journey didn't end there. After its planetary encounters, Voyager 1 was set on a path to leave the solar system, traveling endlessly toward the stars. On board, it carries the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds and images, a greeting to any distant civilization. Voyager 1 is both a scientific instrument and a cultural artifact, a probe and a poem. It represents our curiosity and our hope. It is a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. We don't know if it will ever be found or understood, but sending it says something profound about us. It says we are explorers. It says we are hopeful. Voyager 1 is a testament to our desire to reach beyond ourselves. It is a symbol of our willingness to dream. It is a silent ambassador carrying our story into the unknown. The act of reaching out defines us. We are here, and we are listening. Voyager 1's journey was a feat of celestial mechanics, using a rare planetary alignment for gravity assists, a cosmic billiards game. The probe first visited Jupiter in 1979, revealing the Great Red Spot as a swirling storm, and discovering faint rings and volcanic activity on Io. These were revelations, active volcanoes beyond Earth, moons as dynamic worlds. Next, Saturn in 1980. Voyager unveiled the complexity of its rings and flew by Titan, peering through its haze to glimpse a world rich in nitrogen and methane. This was Voyager 1's final planetary flyby. Its trajectory, altered for a close look at Titan, sent it out of the ecliptic plane, on a one-way trip out of the solar system. Voyager 2 would visit Uranus and Neptune, but Voyager 1's grand tour was over. Now, it was heading for the edge of the sun's domain. Its greatest journey was just beginning. The probe was now a pioneer, venturing into the unknown. It left the planets behind, chasing the boundary of our solar system. Voyager 1 was on its way to interstellar space. The adventure was far from over. After Saturn, Voyager 1 entered the heliosheath, the outermost layer of the sun's magnetic bubble, the heliosphere. Everything we know exists inside this bubble, but Voyager was heading for its edge. As it traveled, its instruments measured the environment. The solar wind slowed, hinting at a boundary ahead. The spacecraft was approaching the interstellar medium, the gas and dust between stars. Scientists watched for signs, a drop in solar particles, a rise in cosmic rays, a shift in the magnetic field. But the data was messy, the boundary was turbulent, not a clean line, the universe was more complex than we imagined. Voyager 1 forced us to rethink our models of the solar system's edge. The anticipation grew. When would it finally cross into interstellar space? The probe was not just observing, it was exploring, challenging our understanding. The edge of the sun's influence was near. Voyager 1 was about to make history. The crossing was imminent. The moment came quietly. In 2013, scientists found Voyager 1 had entered a much denser plasma in late 2012, a clear sign it had crossed the heliopause. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. It was a monumental achievement, a silent triumph billions of miles from home. For the first time we were directly sampling the interstellar medium. The data revealed a denser environment than expected, reshaping our understanding of the galaxy. Voyager's endurance was remarkable, 35 years old, with technology simpler than a car key fob, yet still phoning home. Its signals took over 17 hours to reach Earth. This fragile machine had become humanity's first interstellar ambassador. The crossing redefined our place in the cosmos, our solar system was now a bubble in a vast complex galaxy. Voyager 1's journey was a testament to human ingenuity, it had left the cradle of the sun we had reached the space between the stars. One of Voyager 1's most poetic discoveries is something you can hear. Its plasma wave instrument detects vibrations in interstellar gas, converting them into a faint eerie hum. This is the sound of the interstellar medium, a low whistle, the murmur of the void. The hum changes when disturbed, often by shock waves from our own sun, even billions of miles away. 
These solar events make the interstellar gas ring like a bell, and Voyager records the echo. The pitch of the hum reveals the density of the gas, allowing scientists to map the interstellar medium. They found it's not uniform, it has gradients and structure. Interstellar space is not empty, it has its own weather and dynamics. Listening to this cosmic hum connects us to the galaxy in a new way. Voyager 1, with 1970s technology, is our ear to the cosmos. It detects the faint vibrations of the galaxy, a hidden symphony of space. This discovery is both science and art. Voyager lets us hear the music of the stars. Voyager 1 is also our first weather station in interstellar space. It measures galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles from distant supernovae. Inside the heliosphere the sun shields us, but outside, Voyager detected a dramatic increase in cosmic rays. This data is crucial for future explorers, revealing the true radiation environment beyond the sun's protection. Voyager also measured the interstellar magnetic field, expecting a dramatic shift, but found it largely unchanged. This mystery suggests the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy is more complex than we thought. Voyager is forcing us to redraw our maps of the cosmos. One small probe is rewriting the story of our place in the galaxy. Voyager 1's most profound gift may be a single photograph. In 1990 at Carl Sagan's request, it turned its camera back toward Earth. From nearly 4 billion miles away, it captured the pale blue dot. Earth as a tiny speck in a sunbeam. This image is humbling, reminding us of our fragility and unity. All of human history, every joy and sorrow, exists on that tiny dot. The pale blue dot is a call to cherish and protect our world. Borders vanish, conflicts seem petty. Voyager's journey continues, but its cameras are off. No more images, only data. It is a silent witness, carrying our curiosity into the void. That one last look back is its enduring legacy. Voyager 1's legacy is monumental, it revolutionized our understanding of the outer planets and gave us our first direct measurements of interstellar space. The golden record and pale blue dot have become symbols of our hope and curiosity. The golden record carries greetings music and the sounds of Earth, a portrait of humanity, launched with hope. Voyager's journey inspires long-term thinking and perseverance. Its mission has outlasted its creators, a new generation now listens for its faint signals. The spacecraft will continue its journey long after we are gone. In 40,000 years, it will pass near another star, Gliese 445, a silent ambassador carrying our message. Its power is fading. By 2036, it may fall silent. But its voyage will not end. Voyager is a piece of us, our curiosity, ingenuity, and hope cast into the galaxy. Even a small species on a small planet can reach for eternity. Voyager 1 is our message in the cosmic dark, forever traveling onward.